let's give this a try. So, what this Mythgard deck is attempting to do is the combo, the soft combo we have here is Rus Rustlin's Blight, which the, gives the occupying minion plus one attack and armor one. So, whatever minion you put in the same lane as this enchantment gets armor one. And then Plague Maidens here is an 03 that is Lurker, Regen 1, and you can pay one to have it deal one damage to all at all minions and players. So normally you can't hammer this activation too much because it eventually kills itself, but while it sits in Blight, it doesn't kill itself. All right, sorry about that. Declan, Declan just assumed his uncle didn't know how his toy worked. So he, he brought it to me to put it together. Tempted to splash blue for bulk work. That's the one that gives it plus two defense and armor, right? That card burns for yellow though, correct? So like in order to splash blue for bulk work, you'd have to, uh, you'd have to splash other blue cards to burn for it. All right, so one of the big differences between this game and Magic is in this game, um, you don't have lands in your deck. Instead, you have um, your cards you can take and burn them to turn them into a resource and a color that card provides. So I burned a green card and gained one total resource and gained one green gem. This card costs one total resource to play and one green gem to play. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and play it out over here. So now, Riot Guard, I think I'm going to go ahead and burn a Sapo here and play Riot Guard out over here. So the way combat in this game works, I enjoy quite a bit. So similar to Hearthstone, your minions can attack other minions in this game. But unlike Hearthstone, there's a blocking element. So if my opponent plays an attacker out and I play a minion out in one of the three spaces in front of it, they can't just have their minion attack my face directly. They instead have to have that minion attack one of my blockers. So this can't just smack me. It has to has to hit my guy that's in front of it here. This minion is one that's very mobile, however. So it has a mechanic called Swift, which allows it to get an additional move action each turn. So they took their dork here and they slid it two down so it would get out of range of my guy. And you can see here, when I mouse over this, it lights up the three spaces in front of it. So if I want to attack with this, it has to hit one of these. I think I'm going to go ahead and play my other Riot Guard out over here. So that way they can't run this away again. I'm going to slide this over. So this... Oh, I forgot to burn a card. Uh, I'm talking and clicking and forgot to burn a card. That's a pretty big deal. Well, you know... So this does not have Swift, so it... Uh, it cannot move move twice or move an attack. Soul Sisters was great. It's when I had I messaged my art guy mid set to uh, ask him to put uh, put a setup on the website. I'm just gonna concede. I just like messed this game up three different ways. I don't feel like playing it anymore. Let's try again. So I forgot they had a hero power which lets them move their thing another rank, move their thing another spot. So I should have left mine to the left and should not have moved it over. Because I, because I slid my guy to the left, they were able to move their thing three times. It can already move twice, and then their power lets them move it a third time. So they will get it out of range again. No, I think you should just kill it, kill it, and give them the one, the one ramp tub. Surprise! I think in, in general, waiting to kill it is wrong. It's very possible 
that this deck, in addition to doing the Plague Minions thing, should probably should probably just be a reanimator deck on top of it. Like have have two distinctly different things that it can do that are reasonably powerful. So like have bite plus the maidens and then also have also have the ability to to reanimate things. Since you could just like we're already playing disc as our power anyways. And you like want want some fatties in your hand to begin with. Correct, yeah, it's like it's literally just four slots, right? Like maybe maybe we consider some slightly other large things to put in at the top end, but the cost is pretty low. So they attacked their thing in there, letting it die and not killing mine, because this has a death trigger that says when it dies, they gain one permanent resource for every two energy it had. And then two energy, so it basically ramped them up one. I don't know. I wasn't a big fan of Volition even when it was in the combo style decks. I felt like the games I was winning because I had Volition, I was going to win anyways. Like sometimes it lets you like punk out people who played poorly. Like most of the times I lost to Volition, it was because I messed up. And like you're going to beat the people who mess up most of the time anyways. So they gave my thing minus one attack. That's rude. I'm going to play this out here. Like, slide this over into it so it'll be able to kill this now. So it gains an attack while it's on the blight. Then I want to burn off probably... Probably this, and we'll deploy the other riot guard down over here. I like riot guard. It's a pretty reasonable statted card all on its own, and because it has armor, it works well with our plague maiden. Well, that's unfortunate. It's not too terrible having that happen to Riot Guard just because, um, what's the word I'm searching for? It, uh, it's a card that's like kind of mediocre anyways. So like having that happen to Riot Guard as opposed to one of our better units like isn't the end of the world. I did have it on. Did it unload? It did unload. Do you seek wisdom? Is it a Twitch problem or a Mythgard problem? I don't know. It's, it's definitely Twitch that's unloading it, but I don't know if it's being unloaded because... I don't know if it's being unloaded because of an error in like how the Mythgard is, how the, how the Mythgard add-on's programmed or not. That's unclear to me. Covering fire! So currently in night, I really don't want to fl flip today while I have a bunch of things over here by my guy. I know Twitch at one point um, changed something so the add-ons could automatically load and unload themselves based on the game that you're playing. And I know that that got added after the Mythgard add-on was created. So I honestly wouldn't be surprised if, um, I wouldn't be surprised if like whatever that change was, like the Mythgard add-ons like not flagged properly to like load itself. So it tries to unload itself because it's not flagged properly. But that would, that would just be speculation. 
There are always consequences. They stunned my dork. I don't have anything useful in my bin currently. This is a mobile, so it doesn't do anything. Um, I think I'm just gonna burn. I'm gonna burn the gallows boy because like the bones might be useful later, and I'm gonna traitorous murmur their four four here. It's gonna divination two. Both of those kind of suck. I guess the maze replaces itself at least. Yeah, not, not only do the magic extensions not unload like that, but the, the magic deckmaster one automatically unloads it. It, it. The magic deckmaster one actually does automatically unload itself when I change from magic to a non-magic game. So I would, I would assume it supports whatever that feature is. Yeah, yeah, it lets you know that this is not your card by leaving it upside down. I agree. The interface has a lot of really great small things like that that, like, give you information that you're like, this is info that I want access to, or, like, things I need to know. They're going to deport their card back to their own hand. That's pretty good. Undid our Traitor's Murmur very cleanly there. Is it a bug or a feature? Uncertain. What do you This has Lurker, right? So I can't attack this while this while these are here. Alright, so this is back to three, so I can cash this in to draw another card. Can have this, kill this. This doesn't die when I hit their thing, so it's got armor from being in here. I guess I deploy Born Again here. So I can attack this down and then I play Maze out. I could wake the bones, pick Maze back up here too, just so I can like oh I don't have a second yellow. Never mind. I don't really want to hit the power because hitting my power flips it to Slayer 1. I could empty my hand and hit the power, but like putting on Slayer 1 lets their thing attack my, my units for more, which is awkward. Yeah. We probably need slightly more yellow cards in this deck. All right, so I'm gonna do this. This makes me discard a card when I activate it, so I think I want to just play out all my stuff. And then I can hit this to heal up, which lets me give everything Slayer. Can this not attack? Oh, it's Defender. Yep, got it. We'll burn off Sapo here because I'm nowhere near nowhere near three yellow. Born again comes back to my hand. I'm probably just gonna die to this 10-10 because it's got overrun. That puts me to five. I am gonna get to draw two cards again next turn, potentially. Oh, I guess this can kill this because of the Slayer. This game was a little awkward. Are you okay with me shoehorning the reanimation cards into here, Hunok, so long as I keep the the Shield Maiden uh, Blight Core? I 
Maiden, Maiden off the top would actually let us win the game, right? Because we could slide this over and then ping a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, actually, I'm at five, so that doesn't actually work. Rough. Covering fire. Yeah, we're pretty dead at this point. Yeah, I think I want to cut things like Lita Stray. I think Lita Stray is the... It's a pretty mediocre removal spell. I agree that we want to keep the armor, a lot of the armor stuff. Volko, Volko Heavy's like an okay card to reanimate too. Like we've already got like God's Bane Transport. It's like, what are what are cards that aren't part of? So like Lettuce Stray's not really a core card. I guess Wake the Bones, Rebuys are a thing. Maybe don't need Raise the Tombs. Wonder Drug's kind of busted in this deck, huh? Because you, like, control how much life you have. So Hopeless, Hopeless Necromantic is the reanimate card. So let's add four of those. I kind of feel like I want a couple more yellow cards. Just because we've got a lot of triple yellow. Harvester or twins could be good. I think I want to cut two, two of these green cards for the twins. It's probably just like heavy and murmur. Maybe I don't have room for murmur in here. Sure, but like the more yellow cards you have, the more, the easier it's going to be to play your triple yellow cards. So like adding, adding yellow cards makes these easier to play. A couple of Vicious Cycle are probably fine for cleaning up. It could, this could also maybe just be worse is, but I'd rather just like have more cantrips. We could play a couple of Clay Effigy. This card's like... Pretty, pretty reasonable in general. It's a blocker that doesn't go to your bin, so it doesn't mess up your reanimation. I mean, a couple, a couple ways to randomly destroy things probably fine. Does that card have armor? Yeah, I should actually just look at all the cards with armor really quick. This card is nothing like like heavy. This is this is a two two. Heavy's a five five. Heavy heavy's heavy's got a big heavy's got a big old booty. Just like drops drops right down on you. Uh, I use an Ubuntu-based distribution called Bodhi Linux. It's actually uh, a project I help manage with some friends. All right, so this game looks like we are not going to be on the reanimate plan because I don't have any fatties in my hand. I guess maybe we could end up on the reanimate plan. I'm going to burn Gallows for now and play my Blight out over here. We've got the Plague, Plague Maidens with it, so that's sweet. This card is much better against these aggro decks now that there's no longer a... Uh... This card comes back to our hand at the end of every turn, which is excellent. Howdy, Pino. So they can trade these off, but it's not really a trade for them. Is our Dorko is going to pop back up at the end of the next turn. Don't really need another Blight here. I 
I did not commission a bunch of custom frames for this game. I have to I have to pay a graphics artist for every all of my work. I, I believe in paying people for their work, so I do not have a bust a bunch of custom frames for uh, Mythgard, unfortunately. That's that's a great voice line. And like, if they kill this here, the hopeless necromatic, in addition to enabling like this reanimator game backup plan too, like she also just like gives us more virtual plague maidens, right? Like after they kill them, which is pretty sweet. I believe you can move. I believe that's movable, Marty. Well, that, that felt incredibly satisfying. I think I'm going to bin this other Necromatic and deploy Riot Guard over this way. Thank you for one. This list seems neat. This this synergy is really powerful. I think Blight, Bite, Russellin's Blight here is like a pretty playable card on its own. When this dies, they look at the top three cards of their deck and draw one. Yeah, like, I, I'm kind of into, like, what this deck is doing. Mommy? Mommy? This is, this is a good way to build a synergy deck. Like, you have cards that have good synergies together, but you, like, also, they're just, like, individually reasonable. What is lost? And I don't want to activate my power just yet because activating my power would make me discard. And if we draw a card, we can burn next turn and we can drop down this 10 10 somewhere. Gobble gobble to you too, Maris. That's a little rough. Born Again's gonna pop back up though, so that's nice. Risen from waters. Risen from waters. Again, if this one dies, it brings back the bottom minion of my boneyard, which is Plague Maidens. Oh, I forgot to check my quests. I should put on a faction quest to make sure we're completing those. Got anything good? And they're they're kind of dead on board, right? Close to it. This does tip. This does uh, tramples over for seven. This does three. Natively, this is a good way to approach deck building and brewing in games in general is like find a card that looks powerful that you can like find a card that looks powerful that people haven't leveraged yet and then leverage it did playing this out actually kill them oh this says defender so i have to hit this and then i can play born again over here maze over here and then I can hit this. Oh, if I would have hit the power, if I would have hit the power, I'd have killed them. If I flip, if I flip disc first, I do one more. The more you know. 
Right. I was so focused on getting my hand empty. And now, and now they can trade these because I gave them Slayer. That's funny. If I lose this game, I definitely deserve it. That being, that being said, if this dies, I get to deal one to them with Plague Baiton. So like, you know, good luck, Godspeed. So like, they have to, this needs to, they both need to kill this and this needs to not die. So like these trade next turn because of Slayer and then Plague Maidens kill them. Yeah, Extract Life would have been a big punish. Looks like, looks like this is going to be our thoroughly No Justice stream. Big, 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 big fan of No Justice streams, chat. Check our faction missions. I have a high five going on still too. Look at that. Alright, what are missions? Missions. Green and orange cards. Refresh that one. 25 life. Gain 25 life. We'll do that at some point. Maybe not today. Create six warded minions. Gosh, I could have done all of that already. You've made so many warded minions. Playing Gallows, boy. Oh, is it 26 minutes? That's funny. I was like, I was like, I was surprised that was still there. It popped up yesterday while we were streaming. I guess that makes sense. It's about 28, 24 hours. Um, yeah, this hand's great, right? I gotta decide what I want to burn, though. Hey, I have, I have, like, both my plans I can execute here. Hey, congrats, Marty. Eight years is a long time. Christy and I will be married for six coming up here soon. Seven, seven, Jake plus one, Jake will be six, so we'll be married for seven. Uh, so I think I want to play Blight on one. I'm not sure what I want to burn here. I kind of want the Necromatic. I guess it's just the Gallows Boy, huh? Kids is measuring six, yep. Yep. Jake, Jake plus one. Easy, easy to remember. Oh, they're another aggro deck too, aren't they? Sweet. Okay, well this is an easy burn on this. Then I'm gonna hit my power and ditch my twin. What is lost? What is lost? So if they kill this, either of these can attack and trade with this. I'll get a 5-4 into play, which I suppose they can go hit this, hero power this, hit this. When this 5-4 comes into play, it creates a 4-5, so that's pretty good. A free 4-5. Kind of surprised they use Ignition instead of just hitting their power. They have like a 2-drop to play here as well. They don't have a 2-drop to play here. It seems like a bit of a spew. They have Speedway, okay. I'm gonna ban Vicious Cycle. Feeling unwell. <laughs> I don't think I want to hit both of us at the moment. Muere. 
Oh yeah, that's true. They could have just deployed the speedway. Yep, that's pretty good. So, this is a pretty easy face smack here. If I leave Slayer on, this is going to kill this. So it might be right to just hit this and turn it off in Divination 2 and draw a card. Hopeless Necromatic sounds great, actually. And now this does one and then this takes two, but then this regens for one. And this is warded, so her activated ability does not deal damage to this, so I can't finish it that way. Oh, it's, it's Lurker, this would protect it. Oh, that's a good call. I forgot that it's Lurker. So Lurker means they have to attack other things first. I'm going to put Maiden here. Yeah, I definitely should have just put Heavy next to it. That was a mistake. Thank you for pointing that out. There's a lot going on in the positioning in this game. And when there are other things get added into the mix, I often miss them. Yeah, I should have, should have totally just like plunked Heavy down here. And then I could have eaten this. Slayer wouldn't have mattered. So I can just, like, trade this off, then the other one comes back here again. I'm gonna burn the Gallows Boy. I'm trying to decide if I want to hit this activation. I think we might be in a position where we could be the aggressor here. So I think I'm gonna hit this before I do this. And then do this, that pops back up, play heavy over here. And then hit them. Alright, so they killed that, but like if they kill if they kill this necromatic, like I get to I get to pop th pick this back up, so that's pretty good for me. And like they're at 19 here, and I have seven power in play. Plus this in hand. Yeah, yeah, this card this card has a lot of good synergies in this deck, Hunox. I like I like this as an added added plan for sure. Smack you, smack you, play this, play this. Yeah. And then hit this. Yeah. That's pretty good. They get to kill this and hit over for one. I guess they're pretty low though, right? Like I've got nine power in play here. All right ahead. Copy. We're over the target now. Look at that, 
it, chat. We're on the scoreboard. Sick. Hopeless Necromatic with Wings of Abaddon. That certainly sounds like something we could do. Yeah, I agree. The place we got this deck to seems super reasonable. Yeah, the fact that the fact that Wings is a is a free sack now. You could you could even curve that right clean out, right? Like you go turn two, activate disc, bin a fatty, turn three, play necromatic, turn four, wings, eat the necromatic. That's like super clean. There's, there aren't a ton of good, there's plenty of good green fatties, really, uh, some, there's only really okay red fatties though. Don't get wings and activation cost back, lol. All right, there's the hopeless necromatic. So do I want to ditch heavy? I think I want to play Born Again over here to fight this guy. Ben Gallo's boy for now. Oh, I guess I can just play Riot Guard over there, right? Halt. That seems good. And the question is, do I want to ditch this heavy to this? I don't think so, because that turns Slayer on for this, which lets it kill this. Well, it would, sorry, it wouldn't kill it. It would, it would, it would hurt it though. Like hurting it, hurting it's not ideal. You are, you are correct that it technically wouldn't kill it. I think I want to play Necromatic this turn. Cause I can, I can wake the bones, the maze back and then ditch the twin. We just done my dork, read. Grab my maze back. And then I can burn the misanthropia here, I think. I think I'm gonna hit this and ditch the twin. I can go maze maze over here and set up to draw some cards next turn. It could also potentially be right instead of deploying the second maze to deploy born again here so I can eat this inside of combat. I guess they could theoretically wings this, slide it over. No, this is still out of range then. Yeah, I wanted I wanted uh I wanted a necromatic target. Since I've got, since I've got this in play. Oh, and this is perfect. They're in, they're in winter. So this trades here right now. That's, that's fantastic. And then I can burn. I think I'm going to hold this to ditch to disc later. I'm gonna burn a heavy and play like. Heavy over here and twin one over here. I could also deploy born again and hit this to draw a card. 
So I'm currently on days. So if I flip to night, if I flip to night, these don't trade anymore, which is good. That's probably ideal. Um, this is actually great. Because this, this lets me, uh, have this eat this in combat if they want to attack. Duerme. Mommy? Yeah, maze has defender, but like, if they just killed this maze, then they could attack here. I think that's, I think that's fine. Yep. Guess I just play heavy over here and pass. Covering fire. Maybe I burn this. I'm gonna burn this. I wanna get I've got seven drops in my deck, so if I draw a seven drop, I wanna be able to do the thing. Vicious cycles felt a little medium. Gallows boy has felt a little medium. I mean, his guy's gonna die regardless, right? Like, it's blighted. And now, like, by not making the attack, they have to wait an extra turn. Like, they don't get to attack me on their turn. Is this where we Vicious Cycle? This, this has armor one and whatever gets deployed here has armor one, which gives us resistance to these being one, three deadly. That's awkward. I guess I have born again to give it a little bit of a love tap. Necromatic is not super useful currently. It's just getting back a riot guard. I'm going to play this. I'm going to flip this to hit Slayer. Played that out first. Otherwise, I'd have to discard it if we hit the power. Could have gone better. Start with this, I suppose. Yeah, we haven't, the fact that we haven't had a Maiden in 14 cards feels a little bad. I'm not sure that. They just, they just have so many resources left over here. And we don't have any, like, draw twos in our deck, unfortunately. The good news is there's a Hopeless Necromatic as my bottom. That's probably it. I just had more bombs than us here. Right, 
that's that's a maiden. Does it really do anything though? So I can eat this. I can hit the stag. This has armor one currently. I guess I can do this and then burn this and then clear everything but this. Ow! Ow! Are could he? Are we one off of lethal? Yeah, we can draw, right? First time for that one. That's my it's my first time uh my first time uh having having that happen. I have also I have also not had a time before. I I don't think I don't think we could win. So I think that was like a game theory optimal optimal play. I don't have any experience uh, with that program, Mugget. I've heard a good feedback from other people. I've heard that they have better service than Mana Traders, but I have, a, I have a wait list to get into it. But I don't I don't have any first-hand experience with it. Maidens is sweet. Like if we'd have if we'd have just been one point. And like games like that make me wonder, like, did I miss a point of damage somewhere? Cause like, if I even just hit like one point of damage somewhere, I'd have been, I'd have won that game, right? I got my chest. 2,300 coins, sign me up. Available again in one day, got it just in time. Look at that, nothing but net. Yeah, it was probably a winnable game somewhere. I agree. I think I, I think I like where we've ended up on this one. A lot, of, a lot of what we have going on is really sweet. All right, so this game, we're gonna be on the reanimator plan. So we'll drop maze over here. Next turn, we'll burn blight and then activate the hero power to ditch the stag. And then we can play the necromatic. Nice, Kyle. I hope you enjoy. I think that deck's pretty safe from uh, any sort of banning. Reporting. Start by drawing here and see what we get. What's a born again? Okay. Born again's good for generating some value later down the line. So do I want to burn this or this? I'm probably going to end up burning both. I'm going to burn the Gallows Boy to start. And again, I want to activate my power this turn because Necromatic explicitly cares about the bottom minion in your discard pile. So I want to get this fatty into my bin before this kills my wall here.
And then next turn, depending on what we'll draw, we'll burn a green card and drop the Necromatic. Do we have a mission? I think I'm gonna hang on to Gallows Boy for now. Yeah, nah, I'm gonna hold on to this. This this with Maiden is just too good. What is lost? So if this this has Slayer currently from my disc, so this will trade here, then this will come into play and it'll pick my maze back up along with it, which would be sweet. Yeah, thanks for the submission, Hunox. Maidens, Maidens plus Bite is not a not a combination I'd consider, and I'm definitely enjoying it. Thank your your summary of that it's a good late game while also being a good early game thing is very apt. Good good summary. Next turn's probably gonna be like deploy born again, hit this draw card after we bump this. And uh pick something back up, pick our thing back up. Say 4-4, four, four, the Divination 3 when it comes into play, and then they lose a life every time they draw a card. Let's go ahead and trade this off and get my thing back. Oh gosh, I could just pick the Necromatic back up. It's not as useful at this point though, right? I think I'd rather have the maze. Purple orange, A. Eh? So what do I want? What do I want to do at this point? Everything still has Slayer 1 at the moment. And they're going to winter next turn, right? They're currently in fall. So if I deploy born again here, I actually get to, um, if I deploy born again here, this will trade next turn because they're going into winter. Look at that chat. I remembered winter was coming. <laughs> I'm going to put burn riot guard, I think. I'm going to hold on to Misanthropy for now as an insurance policy. I'm going to deploy the maze over here to get a card draw with it next turn. So my opponent's path here rotates through four modes. Three are beneficial, but the fourth one gives their, makes their minions take an extra damage in winter. It's bound to happen eventually, right? I think that's the first time I've ever, like, paused to consider a line. Yes, yeah, armor, armor is damage minus one. So the, the soft combo in this deck is is um, we have a card that pays one to deal one damage to everything, all units and players, which normally includes itself, but this card lets it protect it from its own ability. So the idea is that we put this with Maidens together and then we hammer the board out. And then we also have a reanimator backup plan here like we executed this game. Hey there. Which was pretty sweet. Yes, yeah, there's pest, Pestilence on a Dork, basically. There's an apt, apt, uh, apt description. <clears throat> Straw card. Wonder Drug, don't need that one just yet. Trade these here. Hit you for eight. Oh, we're playing against Pelly. I didn't even notice we were playing against Pelly. I just, I feel, I feel a little silly now. I just, just noticed. So I'm going to hit this and Divination 2 and draw a card. Yeah, Irkudu is great because that means I'm going to get to curve Twins next turn into this the following turn. I'll put this over here and drop Gallows in it. Should this be called Iron Maidens because they have armor? Iron Maidens is a great name. I agree. So they can Biting Blade something over here to finish it off. Okay, yep, yeah, this lets them, uh, this lets them 4-4 my stag here, sure. So they can trade both of these for this. Really, they just don't want to trade there. Interesting. I kind of feel like I would have just slammed both these into here. I guess that's not super profitable for them. Another twin. Gosh, that's great. All right, so this eats this. 
I can burn... I'm burning the Misanthropy. I think my hand has enough bombs that I don't need a Sweeper. So this card doesn't take damage from Spirit, and the thing it transforms it into is a Spirit. So this is going to kill this here, unfortunately. I can just go ahead and, like, play a Twin here. Play the other Twin out over here. Made a note to play the 4-5 Twin here because I want this to be able to kill this and not die. Oh, they do have to hit Maze first. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. So this is what now? Has Slayer 4, Blast 5, so just 5 to things on either side. Armor, Overrun. Remember that time? Remember that time I burned my Misanthropia? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Alright, so this eats this. This can draw a card. Another maze. Probably don't need another maze. I guess I can maze and twins this turn. I kind of don't need the board again, right? You like playing this so he just can't attack? I guess that's fair. I was thinking about playing Twin so I could Overrun here. Yeah, giving it Defender's probably the play. Yeah, it's probably the play. If I'm doing that, I think I probably should have saved the Born again. Uh, should I have killed this? Maybe I should have killed this. Yes, definitely should have killed that. Turns out. Turns out. Turns out it turns out definitely should have killed that. Mistakes were made. Vomit. Oh right, and this is this is warded. Great. That's fine. They said oops. <laughs> we messed we messed up too. One good one good punt deserves another, right? All right, and they could, they could get an angel us. We are definitely in get an angel range. That's, that's not a get an angel. Good start. Good start for us. Didn't get get an angel. Oh, that's unfortunate because that's ephemeral. Covering fire. Temptation is one of those. It's such a feel bad card. It's my temptations are never good and their temptations are always good against me. Every time I put this card in a deck, I just draw it, and it sucks. Do we get a host from someone at some point? We bumped up a bunch of viewers. I feel like I must have missed a host. Feeling out of it. Misfortune, sure. Leave it all on the track. That's pretty good. All right, so this is on night currently. This is a four cost, it's a three cost. So this is not the big one. How do we feel about just picking up hopeless necromatic here? I kind of like it. I 
Because there's a twin at the bottom. I could also just pick up Irku and like burn this and put Irku across from their, their guy so he's immobile. That's probably better. Yeah, that's probably better. This way they can't jump him and shoot something. We're pretty hosed to a Geddon Angel at this point, but I don't think I can afford to play around that. We just run out of too many resources. Next turn, we can flip this to the day side and give things Slayer. So this will be able to trade into their 5-6 if they don't power it up. So we'll see if they think about that. Sure, he's fragile. He's a fragile boy. Yeah, their stealth thing can't attack. I assume this is the... Pelly, Pelly loves the silly, uh, the silly 2-3 as much as I do. The one that, the ninja that shoots things. Okay. This is, this is a little bit of a heads up play here. So they, they did that. And the reason why that's a heads up play is because it means even if I heal, I, uh, my thing doesn't die. And now that I have two gallows boys here, it's actually very good for me because it means we're not super soft to get an angel anymore. And then these trade, and then this hits them. Okay, and like, my power next turn, Divination 2s and draws a card. So I'm a little bit ahead on board, and I've got two draws next turn. Although we're through a lot of my bombs at this point. Looking good. Yeah, Maiden, Maiden would be, Maiden would be lethal if we hit it on our first draw. Would it be lethal if we hit it on our second? It wouldn't, right? Because I have to pay two. Maiden, Maiden would be absurd though. We have, uh, we have two Maidens in my deck, right, still? Yeah. I think I start with this, see where we go from there. Oh, we'd kill the blockers. Yeah, good call. Extra Gallows Boy, Rustlin's Blight. I think I take the Gallows and then I just Blight here. How do we how do we feel about just Misanthropy in here? Because like, because otherwise they're gonna start biting blading. And Misanthropia kills me pretty quickly. If I like Misanthropia and they brick for a turn, we get to deploy Gallows Boy the following turn. Oh, I suppose these do trade if I go here. Yeah, that's fair. These trade now. Okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. The problem is we already burned this card. So, like, I'm going to get stuck discarding it if I want to activate this again, which sucks. Hey, I've never been so punished in my life. I guess that's not true. We can misanthropy and clear this out next turn still now once they replay it. So that's a real good one. Mommy? Brick! Brick! Atonement. That's a lot, that's a lot like a brick, right, chat? Ooh, buddy! Oh, buddy, old pal.
Where do I want to put this? They're at six, but they're about to lifelink for infinite. This comes in and makes two, two, twos. They're about to gain a buck ton of life though. I think I put it here. And then I activate it and I slide this over here. I could also run this in so I pick this back up. I think I put it here and I hit them. I don't, I don't know. Yes, yeah, so they get to slide this over and they get to biting blade. I guess if I don't run this in, so they only they only life gain for two, right? Yeah, they only they only gain two back the way this game works. Oh, this gets another. Uh oh, never mind. Yeah, this game's over. We're super dead. Reporting. We need we needed a brick the turn they drew this. I think and we just didn't get it. Do we have a mission? They have two vicious cycles. Yeah, that's not gonna be good enough. I don't think. Yeah, my bottom for Necro is the twins. I think I hit this to give everything Slayer. I have to discard that, but it just comes right back. So now like, if this wants to hit two things, they trade off. I don't know, maybe, maybe we're not just done. Game's been wild. Yeah, it's like Necro, Necro Twins. This, this, we're at a pretty low life total and this getting Agile is kind of scary. Although now... Good Lord. Slayer 2 plus Fragile 3, yep. And they're back at 24 now is the issue. I get to heal for one and draw two cards next turn. Reporting. I'm surprised they deployed this all the way here to the right because that gives me, it means I need fewer things to deploy to block it. There. Like I think they wanted to deploy it here. I guess they don't want me to be able to attack it. So I guess that makes sense. <laughs> these aren't really a big deal while these have Slayer. Although these lost, uh, these lost armor from the, from the God's Baden, which is relevant. So these can trade off here next turn and then I can flip this and then I can deploy Born again over here and hopefully we draw into something. We get a draw and then a Divination 2 and a draw. Uh, you can minimize the deck, Wargy. Their life total is at 26 though. You can minimize the deck on the overlay though, as a, as a heads up. This uh, Misfortune's been real good here, too. It's allowing them to stack up and kill my things. Gobble, gobble, Jahan Mums. Well... Yeah, Maidens kill their Agile. I think I start by activating this and see where we go from there. Because I can still play this and hit it three times. And there might be something better to do because these are going to die to my thing anyways. Well. <laughs> Do 
All right. All righty. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. And we get to Wonder Drug. Keen 8 draw 2 next turn. Oh, this game's been wild. This game. Uh, their deck has, um, my deck has 20, uh, their deck has 17. Sorry, it wouldn't, wouldn't show while they were divinationing. Yeah, with, with Winter here, we might actually get this. I mean, I thought we were dead when they ripped that 510. The level of player agency in this game is just so wild. All right, so this is Fragile 3, so if I activate this, this dies. So I do this and I hit them for three. And then I'm gonna do this twice to kill that. And then I can hit them for four and then I can hit them for one. And then I think I... I'm currently on Knight. So if I hit this, I think I want to hit this so I can hit it again next turn and draw again next turn. So I think I want to burn the maze. And then we can do this, discard born again. And then we can play this other born again over here. And then next turn, we can hit the power again. Fortune favors us. To get dig deeper into our deck if we need to. I assume we're going to see them... I assume we're going to see them misfortune this, and then they'll burn a card and play the free. No! Oh, oh man. Life's, life's like a jump rope, chat. Up, down, up, down, do 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 I believe our bottom card is currently crap. Yeah, it's a maze. Alright, so this puts this to two. But this is agile, so it's gonna get be able to attack past my thing next turn anyways. I think I start by doing this. Because if I hit my power first, I'm going to lose Slayer. So we start by doing this. And then I'm going to hit this and see what we draw. Heavy sounds okay. This can hit this, which goes back to their hand. But a thing to consider here is this is making them lose a life every time they draw a card currently. So like playing this back out is gonna require them to lose lose two. So they're they're down to eleven. This can hit me to six, but then I can hit this next turn and trade these. Looking good. <laughs> All right, that's probably it. I don't think, I don't think we can beat another sword save. And spirit away. Gross. Do we have a mission? Well, I mean, the hopelesses are going to cycle through some stuff, right? So I'm going to start by... There is a copy deck list button on your screen now. They added that, which is great. So I'm going to start by killing this, I think. Which does put it back in their hand, but I think I need to do that. And then I think the next play is hit this to give my thing Slayer, so this can trade here. We have to discard a card to do that, but I have this Born Again, which is a free roll discard. Then I can have this trade here. They gain another one. And then... I think at this point... I just go hopeless necro here, hopeless necro here, 
and pass back. And then again, because I discarded this turn, next turn I'm going to get to draw two. And my born agains are still like sitting here grinding it out with us, so that's nice. The first Necro is going to get back a get Maze. The second one will get back a Gallows Boy. They have two Angels in their hand, though. It's been like a 30-minute game, huh? I was like, I, I was thinking this was going to be my last game. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's a, that's a Jinsuk. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I guess they're still at 18, huh? Now I just get to deploy their Agile minions over here and try and kill me. It's a neat line. They're also going to get to, like, life gain back up with this. And they can trade with my twin now, because I have Slayer on at the moment. Do I have a Misanthropy in my deck? There's one Misanthropy in my deck. There's also a Wonder Drug. I've got 15 cards. We're going to get three looks at Misanthropia. If we peel a Misanthropia, we might get there. I think, I think that's what we need at this point. Okie doke. Okie doke. Mommy? Is this going to go to fatigue? Yeah, it might, honestly. Born again is very creepy and super grindy. That's got... Those are... Those are going to kill us. They give overrun. Yeah, I think we needed a wonder drug there, huh? Yeah, this deck's been really sweet, actually. So this is six. I think I just do... This... Into this, into this, into this. Mommy? Am I dead because I gave them Slayer? Oh, they can just push left again. Yeah, we're dead. Am I? I think we're dead. I think you're right that we're dead because they can push left. Uh, I don't know. I thought we lost this game like six different times. It's so like if we finally lose, yeah, they do. They put this on this and then, yeah. That was a wild game. That was, uh, that was a wild game. Hey, we gained a bunch of life. And we completed our warded minions quest. Yeah, we, we hung in there a lot longer than I was expecting to hang in there, if I'm being honest. I thought we were dead at, like, six different points. So... So, all things considered... Um... I like the core of what this is doing. Plague Maidens plus Bite is really sweet. And the Reanimator package is reasonable. We've seen this in a variety of different decks. I feel like Gallows Boy was super lackluster. What what could I do? What could I do instead of this card? I know this is warded, so like it doesn't take damage from maidens, but overall I just really was like not impressed with this card. I feel like I could even stand to replace it with other yellow with yellow cards, because I feel like I'm a little I'm a little bit light on yellow cards overall. Detained Deported could maybe be okay. I could see that. That card's good. That could be something. You don't probably don't want four of those. That would be that would be the slot that I'm like not certain of. I feel like feel like I want it to be something else. An enchantment that gives two life and regen two. Maybe that card, the enchantment is pretty good with Plague Maintenance. It could, it could just be like 
to to raid the tombs and to deport it though. I don't I don't hate that. It keeps keeps my colors the same. The colors were pretty okay. I feel like I feel like I would try this. I would try to detain, deported, and to raid the tombs. I definitely felt like I wanted some copies of divination to like draw draw some extra gas. I think that seems like a reasonable reasonable thing. It could also I could also see playing another vocal heavy. Like I think this card was really good. Like it closing out games at a number of points. I was like rarely upset to draw this. Like the rate on it's pretty good. Gosh, we never saw Sapo that game, did we? I forgot forgot we had him in there to, to draw two. At any rate, uh, that's the beat for me for today, folks. Shorter stream so there's a holiday. I will uh, catch Ollie all around later. Everybody have a good one. I'll be back with some more magic uh, tomorrow, and I'm not quite sure when I'll be back with more Mythgar. I need to figure out my schedule exactly for, for next week. Uh, I'll catch Ollie all around later. Everybody uh, have a good one. I'm going to hit one more ad roll before I sign off, so I can meet my quota for the day, but I am done with content. So thanks for hanging out, folks. And thanks for the submission, Hunox. It was a lot of fun. Feel like feel like we got to somewhere that was great. Uh, builder arms for Mythgard are still 25, Marty, just because it uh, it costs me, takes me time. That that upcharge for builder arms is 